Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the English class. Let's begin with our activities for today. In the name of the Father, of the Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and thy As it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us the trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Spirit. Amen. 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 Miren, se explicaba que en este cuarto y último bimestre, ok, tenemos un tema nuevo. ¿Sí? Tenemos un tema eh. nuevo. Se llama presente perfecto, pero de presente no tenía nada, ¿se acuerda? ¿Sí? Ok, ok. Encontré un videito que nos va a servir de mucha, de mucha ayuda antes de que desarrollemos por completo este tema. ¿Comenzamos con el videito? Sí, de paso que ya terminan de conectarse los que faltan para poder explicar detalle a detalle y al por mayor este tema. Ok, pay attention. ESL Library. Present perfect. What are verb tenses? Verb tenses show if an action takes place in the past, present, or future. The present perfect is a verb tense. We use the present perfect tense for two reasons. The present perfect can show a finished past action. It doesn't show when this action took place. For example, I have been to Australia. The present perfect can also show a continuing action. It shows an action that started in the past and continues to the present. This action might continue into the future too. For example, I have lived in Toronto for two years. The present perfect is formed with the auxiliary verb have and the past participle form of the main verb. Have changes forms depending on the subject. I have finished my homework. She has worked at this office for 12 years. My friends have seen that movie. With regular verbs, we use the verb plus ed to form the past participle. For example, the past participle of the verb walk is walked. With irregular verbs, the past participle changes into a different form. We do not use ed. For example, the past participle of the verb eat is eaten. Here are some examples of irregular verbs in their base form, past form, and past participle form. Listen and repeat. Be, was or were, been, do, did. Done. Drink. Drank. Drunk. Eat. Ate. Eaten. Go. Went. Gone. Have. Had had run ran run say said said 
sleep, slept, slept, write, wrote, written. He has eaten breakfast. We have had a dog for eight years. My best friend has moved to another city. Look at the picture and say or write a present perfect sentence. For example, I have lived in Australia all my life. Now you try. Thanks for watching. Written. He has eaten breakfast. We have had a dog for eight years. My best friend has moved to another city. Look at the picture and say or write a present perfect sentence. For example, I have lived in Australia all my life. Now you try. Thanks for watching. Ok, listen. Repetí esa parte de los verbos, que es donde nos debemos de centrar. ¿Sí? Ya había hecho la primera explicación del tema, chicos. Voy a hacer un review, muy rápido. Se llama present perfect, pero en realidad no tiene nada que ver con el presente. Se refiere al pasado. Listen and remember, he, she, it, I, we, you, and they, they were with the verb has and have, yeah, in different, in different places, right? 
he she eat with a with has I will you they listen I will they go have but what is the meaning of has what is the meaning of has or have any volunteer ¿Qué significaba has? ¿Qué significaba have? ¿Algún voluntario? Mayra, expliqué este tema, estas estructuras. Yeah. ¿Expliqué estas estructuras, chicos? Yes. Yeah, pero no, nadie me responde. <laughs> Listen. Se llama present perfect, pero no tiene nada que ver en el presente. Toda la información es que ha sucedido en el pasado, pero no te dice cuándo ha sucedido en el pasado. Profe, ¿cómo es eso? Claro, Mayra, cuando hablo del pasado te digo ayer, en 1950, hace cinco días, el año pasado, ¿correcto? Sí, te digo cuándo sucedió. Pero este present perfect, ha sucedido en el pasado, pero no te dice cuándo sucedió con exactitud. For example, yo he vivido toda mi vida en Jamaica. Entiendes que ha sido todo el pasado, pero no te estoy especificando. No hay días, no hay meses, no hay años. ¿Y eso o no? Yeah. A ver, otro ejemplo, teacher, para entender mejor. A ver, for example... I've studied English for five years. Yo he estudiado inglés por cinco años. Lo entiendes, lo asumes que es pasado, ¿no, Sergio? Pero no sabes en qué momento del pasado ha sucedido. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Understand now, my friends? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Ok, me hacen feliz cuando me responden. Yeah, good. That's good. Pero para poder entender mejor el present perfect, tú necesitas saber ciertas estructuras. La primera estructura. He, she, it, trabaja con has. I, we, you, y they, trabajan con have. ¿Correcto? ¿Qué significa has y qué significa have? Haber. El verbo haber. Yo, he, tú, has, ellos, han, tú. As, nosotros, hemos, él, a, ella, a. ¿Correcto? Yeah. Es el verbo haber. Y el verbo que le acompaña debe de estar en past participle form of the verb. Profe, ya vuelta. ¿Qué es el past participle form of the verb? Te explico. El verbo en inglés tiene tres formas. Infinitive, que es cuando el verbo no hace conjugado. Luego tiene el simple past. Y finalmente tiene el past participle, que lo conozco yo también como PP, past participle. For example, los verbos regulares, play. ¿Cómo era play en simple past, my friends? Por ser un verbo, late. llevaba ed, late. Pero en participio, los regulares siguen manteniendo la ed. Pero cambió su significado. Infinitive, play, jugar. Simple past, played, jugó. En participio, played, jugar. Teacher, usted dijo que los verbos en participio terminaban en ado, edo, ido. ¿Recuerdas? Yeah. Entonces, jugar, jugado. A ver, juguemos con algunos verbos. Comer, en participio, ¿cómo sería? Comido. Ok. Correr. Corrido. Leer. Leído. Leído. Dormir. Dormido. Dormido. Almorzar. Almorzado. Ok. Vamos entendiendo entonces esta partecita del participio de los verbos. Los verbos regulares es muy fácil porque mantienen su ed. Pero ¿qué pasa con los irregular? Go in simple past is when. Y en pipi. Gone. Ah, ya entendí, teacher. Ya entendí. Los irregulares cambian su estructura, pero a veces uh, no cambian. <ríe> Por ejemplo, cuts. 
en Simple Pass sigue siendo Cards y en Participio sigue siendo Cards. Esa era la característica de los irregulares, ¿no, chicos? Y yeah. cambiaban la gran mayoría de ellos, el 95%, 98% de los verbos irregulares cambia. Pero existen algunos, poquitos, que no cambian. A ver, te echo un ejemplo para entenderte mejor. Allí te voy. Listen. She has played tennis on her last... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Um, she has played tennis when, I don't know, so please tell me, she has played tennis, <laughs> yeah, that's it, ella ha jugado tennis, lo aceptas que fue en el pasado, pero no hay más información de cuándo sucedió, I have studied English. For six years. Understand, students? You, mira, ya no quiero escribir you have porque soy flojo. You, listen, you've gone to the beach. Understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So please say yes or no. You understand this topic, students? Students understand? Say yes or no. Yes, teacher. No, teacher. I cannot hear you. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, my friends, uh, on the Newton platform, yeah, on Newton platform, we have the contents, yeah, October 17th to October 21st. You can enter and you can see the PDF document with some activities that we are going to do, okay, this time, okay? You have to print this, tienes que imprimirlo y archivarlo, okay? Ahí está el PDF. Esta separatita nos va a acompañar todo el mes de octubre y la primera semana de November, okay? Y la primera semana de November. Yeah, good, good, good. So, let's go to the book. Let's go to the book, everybody. Okay. Unit number seven. Unit number seven. Boarding pass. Cultural experiences. We have traveled a lot. ¿Qué significa eso? We have traveled a lot. Hemos viajado mucho. Hemos viajado mucho. Mm, yeah. Listen to the audio. Listen to the audio. Penny and Diego are visiting a web page about travel experiences. Listen and complete with the words in the toolkit and stickers. Okay, tienes que ir a los stickers, prestar atención y completar según Corresponde. Voy a ponerte tres veces el audio para que puedas trabajar con él. Pay attention. Unit 7. Cultural Experiences. Boarding Pass. We have traveled a lot. Page 80, Exercise 1. Penny and Diego are visiting a web page about travel experiences. Listen and complete with the words in the toolkit and stickers. A. Here in Thailand, I can't help but eat lots of curry. Actually, my friends and I have cooked some fish curry for dinner. B. When traveling, remember that people from different cultures greet in different ways. In Japan, I have greeted people with a bow. C. My brothers and I enjoy climbing. This year, we have climbed a high mountain in Tanzania. D. There are many ways to travel around Europe. For example, my friend Sarah has traveled from Madrid to Paris by train. E. My boyfriend Paul is an outdoor person. He loves to camp. 
In fact, he has camped in the Amazon. Unit 7, Cultural Experiences. Boarding Pass, we have traveled a lot. Page 80, Exercise 1. Penny and Diego are visiting a web page about travel experiences. Listen and complete with the words in the toolkit and stickers. A. Here in Thailand, I can't help but eat lots of curry. Actually, my friends and I have cooked some fish curry for dinner. B. When traveling, remember that people from different cultures greet in different ways. In Japan, I have greeted people with a bow. C. My brothers and I enjoy climbing. This year, we have climbed a high mountain in Tanzania. D. There are many ways to travel around Europe. For example, my friend Sarah has traveled from Madrid to Paris by train. E. My boyfriend Paul is an outdoor person. He loves to camp. In fact, he has camped in the Amazon. Unit 7, Cultural Experiences. Boarding Pass, we have traveled a lot. Page 80, Exercise 1. Penny and Diego are visiting a web page about travel experiences. Listen and complete with the words in the toolkit and stickers. A. Here in Thailand, I can't help but eat lots of curry. Actually, my friends and I have cooked some fish curry for dinner. B. When traveling, remember that people from different cultures greet in different ways. In Japan, I have greeted people with a bow. C. My brothers and I enjoy climbing. This year, we have climbed a high mountain in Tanzania. D. There are many ways to travel around Europe. For example, my friend Sarah has traveled from Madrid to Paris by train. E. My boyfriend Paul is an outdoor person. He loves to camp. In fact, he has camped in the Amazon. Okay. So, uh, in letter A, my friends and I caught some fish curry for dinner. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, pegaste el sticker, ¿cuál sería? La olla que están cocinando, ¿no? Yeah, good. Any volunteer for letter B to complete? Let it be to complete. Any volunteer? Okay, Sergio, please, here you go. In Japan, I have greeted people with a bow. Yeah, greet it. Greet it. Greet it. Yeah, léelo de nuevo, Sergio. In Japan, in Japan, I have greeted people with a bow. Yeah, this is a bow. Yeah, this is a bow. Yeah, that's it. La imagen de las personas en la posición del bow. Okay, good. Let us see. Any volunteer for let us see? Students, volunteer for let us see? Mayra, please. We have climbed a high mountain in Tanzania. We have climbed, we have climbed a high mountain in Tanzania. Okay. Nosotros hemos escalado una montaña alta en Tanzania. The, la imagen de la montaña, yeah, of course. Letter D. Any volunteer for letter D? Camila? Sarah has traveled from Madrid to Paris by train. Yeah, traveled. Sarah has traveled from Madrid to Paris by train. Thank you. And the last one, Harris. 
He has. He has camped in the Amazon. No se dice camped. 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 He has camped in the Amazon. Ok, vamos a ver, corregir pronunciación uno por uno, ok? No podemos leer así. Voy a ponerle. Sí, no, menos, menos grueso, menos por eso. Mira, estoy poniéndole donde no se pronuncia. Pero, teacher, ¿por qué sí se pronuncia en greeted? Harris, dime. Porque ya tiene el sonido de la T. Ya, muy bien. Entonces hay que estar atento a la pronunciación, Harris. No se dice camped. Camped. A ver, voluntarios. Tenemos 10 minutos para hacer un poco de lectura. Voluntarios, levanten la mano para que lean estas seis, cinco oraciones que están en la pantalla. Students, ¿me están escuchando? Voluntarios para leer. Voy a llamarlos, ¿ok? Voy a llamarlos. Angela, te escucho leer las cinco oraciones. Um, my friends, my friends, and I have cooked some fish curry for dinner. In Japan, I have greeted people with a bow. We have climbed a high mountain in Tunisia. Sarah has traveled from Madrid to Paris by train. He has camped in the Amazon. Yeah, good. Thank you. Thank you. Valentina Heredia. Okay, perfect. My friends, um, I have cooked some fish curry for dinner. In Japan, have greeted people with a bow. We have clipped, clipped a high moon. Climbed. Climbed a high moon in Tainsan. Sarah was traveled from Madrid to Paris by train. He was camped in the oh. Amazon. Can't, can't. Ok. No se pronuncia la ED. Al final el sonido de él. Hermosa. Luana hermosa. He has come back in the Amazon. Thank you. Thank you. Harris. Hey, my friends and, and I have cooked some fish curry for dinner. In Japan, I have rated people with a wall. We have him cleaned a high mountain in Disney. Sarah has traveled from Madrid to Paris with Ryan. He has camped in the Amazon. Camila? My friends and I have cooked some fish curry for dinner. In Japan, I have greeted people with a bowl. We have climbed a high mountain in Tanzania. Uh, Sara traveled from Madrid to Paris by train. He has come in the Amazon. Thank you, Sergio. Sergio. My friends and I have cooked some fish curry, curry for dinner. In Japan, I had greeted people with a bow. We have climbed a high mountain in Tanzania. Sarah has traveled from Madrid to Paris by train. He has camped in the Amazon. Mayra? Hey, my friends and I have cooked some 
fish curry for dinner. B. In Japan, I was greeted people with a bow. C. We first climbed a high mountain in Tanzania. D. Sarah has traveled from Madrid to Paris by train. Traveled. E. Traveled from Madrid to Paris by train. E. He has camped. He has camped in the Amazon. Come in the ants and song. Ok, good. En la segunda tarde vamos a enfatizar en los verbos, ¿ok? ¿Qué verbo sí se lee la et, como greeted, started, wanted, decided? ¿Y en qué verbos no se lee la et, como played, studied, watched, listened, cooked, and it is, ¿ok? Volvemos. See you later.